Welcome to PCCL. The activity proposed here leads us to establish the laws of intensities. The first insert, at the top, gives us advice on how to connect the ammeter. Below, we have the instructions for the activity. I wrote these instructions under the video, in the description part. At the same place, there is a link to the website page where is the interactive simulation I am using here. I therefore propose to measure at three different places the intensity when the dipoles are in series. Here it is a resistor and a lamp. We find 0.17 amps, since the unit given by the screen is the same as that of the range. However, the range here is 10 amps. 0.17 amps. If I measure between the two dipoles, at I2, placing the ammeter in series, as it should be, 0.17 amps too. It seems the intensity is the same everywhere. I check to definitively confirm that I still have 0.17 if I measure in I4. Here is the first law, in a series circuit the intensity is the same at all points. What about when the dipoles are in parallel? I am going to measure the intensity of the current in the main branch, in I1, that is to say the current coming out of the battery. So I have to use a conductor here and complete it here. And here I find 0.56 amps. I note it, 0.56 amps. Next. I measure the branch current, the one that will pass through the bulb, which I call I2. And I find 0.29 amps. I note 0.29 A. And finally I measure the other branch current, the one that passes through the resistance. And I find I3 equals 0.27 amps. It turns out that 0.29 plus 0.27 equals 0.56. So, the intensity in the main branch is equal to the sum of the derivative currents. We can also say, algebraic sum of the individual currents entering a junction or node will equal the currents leaving it. That's it for this video. Thank you.